slight delay tonight because I had somebody purchasing stuff as we were, they saw the picture, so one of the items will not be coming up tonight. So I ended up losing a little bit of time. That person knows who she is and she has been issued a demerit for the delay of tonight's video. So I'll wait for a couple people to show up. I'm usually right on here at 5.30, but like I said, someone saw something in the picture that I just posted about the upcoming sale and I already sold one of the items. So the little, if you saw the little brass lamp, this one here has already been spoken for. I got some inquiries before, before the and that even went live. So let me just put the person's name on it while you all gather. If you've not been with us before, this is our weekly Facebook Live. You don't need to register. You just comment sold and which item. You have to say which item. There's a 15 to 30 cent lag. Hey, Carrie. And so what you think is live right for you is actually delayed by a few seconds. So just make sure you say sold and which item it is, please. Hey, Deborah. Hey, hey Dina. Let me just put Kim's name on this one. Like I said, one of the items is already sold, so you won't be seeing that coming up. Saw it on Instagram and messaged me right away, so. Let's put her pile over here. And uh, I just need to get, rather, grab a drink. I was stuck at the counter all day. Don's been running around getting a booth ready that has to be evacuated by this Saturday, so he'll be doing that. Hello, Miss Kerner. So while he's doing that, I end up stuck here, so I do what I can in the way of, I got a couple of posts up, so um, like I said, always be sure to like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram as well, because I did post a really cute little plastic Halloween guy today and a couple of other things, so you can always pre-buy before the sale as well as you can see. Any comments? Okay. All right. So without further ado, we're going to jump in. I have from our vendor, Tiny Tag, uh, CJ Spines. This is a little wood welcome sign for just $4. It's like the 3D, the house is a little shaker house that pops out. Hey, Charlene. And it's just got the little sawtooth hanger on it. So a little hand-painted little decorative welcome for just $4. And again, you would just say sold and which item it is. We are located in Andover, New Jersey. We do ship, we actually shipped a bunch of stuff out from Saturday night's uh, Facebook Live, which Don hosted. That all went out today. Well, Monday, and we came in here Monday and got a bunch of it out as well, so. I have from Vendor Good To Go, this acrylic little 1980s primary set. They're plastic. Um, there's a little, there are little holders back here. It looks like it could use a little a sit in some water with some warm soap and water. Five sixty for the little set. Hello, Miss Merciel. So cute little bathroom set or whatever. It won't hold the whole lot, but it's still cute. A couple of cotton balls and stuff. Or even if you like have vitamins and stuff, you can put them in there and with the red, the blue, and the yellow, keep them separated that way in your mind. I brought this set up because this has recently been reduced. I'm going to come around because I want you to see this. This is a set of six. And these are older glass. They are emerald with gold, and they are footed little bowls, and they have these beautiful little gold designs. You can see the imperfections in the glass, as common with the older pieces. These little are just little flaws in the glass. They are not chips or cracks. There's bubbles and little indentations. Now, for the set of six of these, you can see they are tinier. It is $24. She's just reduced that. For, it was 36 now it's down to uh, 24 so it's a beautiful old set of glass. Now we sold, I did not see this one on Saturday night, so we have another bird sun catcher from CJ Fines. This is the blue bird sun catcher for $3.20. So we sold the other birds and we had a couple of flowers left. I just saw this one on the shelf. I didn't see this until tonight. So he is just $3.20 for the little uh, bird sun catcher. And now that the sun is setting a little earlier, I don't have that sun that I had this summer that was blinding me to show you the colors on that. Also from our cat, uh, CJ's finds, oh, I'm feeling a couple little chips on this. I wouldn't have grabbed that if I knew that. There are some chips on the edge of this little pink depression glass dish for $7.20. I'm going to put as is on the tag on that. Did not see that. I try not to bring up things that are chipped and broken, but unfortunately, sometimes in my haste, it happens. So there are chips on that is $7.20. And I hope that the vendors are watching when they see so they can properly mark these things down if they need to be. So, 
Okay. Let's move these things. I grabbed a bunch of things out of the cases today, out of the locked cases. So there's a lot of more fragile items up here today. So from our vendor, the hip chick, this is, I'm gonna walk around so that you can see the label. This is a Royal Dalton. She has a 30% uh, off. So this is on sale for 14. It is the Royal Dalton Swan. It has those flowers in it. I don't see any issues with them. And there's a very tiny little chip there. I don't might know, it's just the way the petals go. So, and that does have the older mark on it. Oh, there we go. And that's not a, that appears to be probably George Hare. So, and that's just 14 for the Royal Dalton Porcelain Swan. Also from her, her case, I grabbed this, which is also delicate, and this is on sale for, there goes the tag into the garbage, for 21. This is a vintage, hey, Mr. Bra, this is a vintage by Andrea Sadak. The flowers are a bisque porcelain, and it's a music, San, uh, Japan porcelain tulips, $21, and the music box is by San Francisco Music Box. And that is on sale for 21. I don't know what song that is. Let's see. This is attached, so you can't, it's not gonna fall off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a, what do you call it? The thing from Cat's Memories or whatever it is. And that is just 21 for the Tulips San Francisco Music Box. This is from our vendor, Redreamable. This is a boy's bear. Now, remember, boy's bears didn't just make the uh, fluffies, the fluffies, the stuffed animals. They also made these, like, resin little bears. Now, we don't have a box for him, but he's very cute. He's a little wizard for 960, and they are numbered as such from 1995. We are all here for a spell. Get all the good laughs you can, Will Rogers. So, cute little... Wizard Bear from Boyd's Bears for 960. Now also from Redreamable is this vintage brass and porcelain trivet for 16. There are it is old, so it does have and it does show its age. So you can see there is like a tight hairline on the porcelain handle. And you can see there is some rust going on here. It does have those little, like little legs. It looks like it's going to start running around any minute. Yeah, what am I getting my focus? There we go. So and that's just 16 for that really nice old trivet. Like I said, it has this, it's footed, so it's got some good height on it to stand. We have this cute little thing here from. Um, Auntie's Attic Milk Glass Small Butter Dish, three and three quarters by two and three quarters for nine sixty. It's a little milk glass, tiny. Now I grabbed from Vintage Crush this beautiful Italian micro mosaic brooch. It's one inch in diameter. You got it, Miss Lloyd. Always room for more smalls. I'm going to come around and show you the little micro mosaic brush, uh, brooch. It's one inch. It's 1440. It is actually made. It's marked made in Italy. I mean, most of these are, but it's nice when you actually have the marker. And this does have some age to it. It has the older clasp on the back of it. And this is 1440. So there's the made in Italy tag. And here's the brooch. So... These are micro mosaics, they're called. They're lots of little pieces of glass to make this beautiful detailed pin. There we go. So, oh, Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> All right, just almost knocked that over. <sighs> Sorry about that. That was me almost going down with that. Now I have a local souvenir from Newton, New Jersey. 
for just $8.40 from our vendor, Belmont Farmhouse. It is a milk glass tomahawk, and it says Souvenir of Newton, New Jersey on the handle. This one is $8.40. There's a lot, it's just got a little rough edge to it here. But if you know anybody from Newton or, you know, these are, these are from around the late 1800s to early 1900s, these little souvenirs. And they were just made generic like this, and then the towns would put their names on it. So this one is a Newton, New Jersey for just $8.40. The brooch is fourteen forty. That's it, right? Yes, fourteen forty on the brooch. Since it's just me, I don't. I'm not able to type in and and show at the same time. So hopefully you can hear that. I will type it in now, so we can. From Auntie's attic, I grabbed. It's in really good condition. It's a Coleman's mustard tin for eight dollars, and it's got great graphics on it. It's got a little rust to it. It is an older one, but you got the, the bull's head in the center on that side. And then you have the other side, Rochester, New York, made in England, but distributed by uh, Rochester, Norwich. And that's a couple of recipes on the side of this one for pickling, salads, medicinal, etc. One Mustard Street in Rochester, New York. And that would have been a quarter pound in there of mustard. From our vendor, good to go. He just marked this down tonight from 18 to 12. And then with the 20% off, it is 960. It is a Wilton uh, trivet, a footed trivet, and it's got the, the, the brooms on the side. So that is Mark Wilton. That's a cast iron footed trivet for 960 from good to go. Oh, yeah. I don't recall seeing any of those around right now. Now I have this uh, Port Maron mini floral table teapot for $24. This is from our vendor, Vintage Crush. Like I said, I grabbed a couple things from the cases today. I'm gonna walk around so we can see this up close. And hopefully I don't knock the camera down again. Okay, you can see how cute. It's a table setting on a, tape, on a teapot. So very cute, and that is $24. And obviously, these are just little decorative collectible teapots. I mean, it's yours. You can do whatever you want if you want to use it, but I personally would not. Now I have from our Venzer Bronx Man Cape. It's a Loretta Lynn's Dude Ranch 1978 cross collectible because it's also got Pepsi on it. And this is on sale. It is, isn't it? And this is on sale for 11 and a quarter for the 1979 Pepsi, well, 78 Dude Ranch pin. So I guess that would have been maybe a worker's ID or something in there. All right. From the same vendor as well. I looked this up. This is a good price. This is about what they sell for. This is vintage very view. I love Ringo Beatles pin. This is authentic. It is from our vendor Bronx Man Cape. $33.75 is the sale price. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you can see the Beatles. It doesn't really work very well on the camera. There you go. And there's Ringo. And it says, it's got the, when it says the Beatles, you see the Beatles. And when you tilt it, it says, I love Ringo. And it focuses on Ringo. So what a great gift or for yourself. If you're a Beatles fan, you know, somebody who loves Ringo. And that is just $33.75 for that. Grabbed another nice piece of jewelry out of the case as well today. This is from our vendor, Jazzy Junk. This is a little sterling silver with a porcelain inset. Uh, rose pin and this is just eight dollars it does come with the box so that's a pretty nice little pin right there for just eight dollars I did pick up a couple of larger items as well I brought this up this has been up before but the price has been reduced uh, from our vendor, The Looking Glass, and she is still gonna continue with the 40% off through October, so the price I tell you is good through the next month as well. She is at 40% off. This brass horse was 29, and, he's, and now he's on sale for $12. This is a very good size brass horse. We have a lot of people that love their brass. Um, I would say he's pretty solid. I don't know if it's completely solid, but it does have a lot of good weight to it. You got it, Miss Kerner. So this horse, and you can see he's got a good size to him. I don't see 
any marks on him, but he is only $12. Okay, so here's the hole in the foot where, you know, I guess to, when they were making him in the hoof there. That's a very good price if you know somebody who collects horses. Let me just put Miss Kerner's name on that one. Okay. That was Miss Lloyd's. Okay. Now it's another large item from the floor. Now this is surprisingly light. It's lighter than I thought. We're not able to ship this one. It is a Cornwall Industries made in Maine, South Paris, Maine. It's a little wood cabinet. And it's got this pattern on it for curved front decorative cabinet, 17 by 14 by 5. I will open up. Oh, you got it, Charlene. I'll get that brass horse for you. Let me just figure out the math on this now. Where did my calculator go? There it is. Ah! Now it closed out on me. Switch the keyboard over. There we go. Yeah, that's a really good deal on that horse. 48, 5, 10, 8. So 3840, it's this very, it's a vintage little cabinet. There are two holes on the back where I guess they might have screwed that into the wall. Um, it does sit by itself on the top of a table and has like little shelves inside. So it might be like a little spice cabinet kind of thing going on here. Just a very pretty little tabletop cabinet or like I said, there are the holes on the back where you can put on your own D hooks to get that. That was from Auntie's Attic. And that just came in recently. So let me get, oops, God, now I almost knocked down the monitor. Let me get Charlene's name on that horse. Okay. All right. Now also from the case, and I'm gonna come around and show you. He just came in, we do not have the boxes for these ones. Is that right? These ones, I guess, yeah, all right. <laughs> Sororsky crystals, remember we had them a few years ago. There's nothing inside the cabinet, just a small uh, shelf in it. Um, I can bring that back up in a second. I just want to show the Sororsky crystal nutcracker. No box. It does have the mark on the bottom. I don't know if it'll show on here. Yeah, it does. You see that little swan? So we do know that that's indeed a true Sororsky. And he is just $32. No box again. The blue eyed, so... And this does not move, that's attached. So this is a real Swarovski crystal for 32. Now, if you remember a few years ago, we had a whole bunch and we sold them all. So now's the time to get those if you collect them or you know somebody who does before they're gone. We have our event, the townwide event next weekend. The Andover Borough Shops present the, the annual full marketplace. That is the eighth and the ninth. So you see the stuff tonight? You might want to grab it because that weekend is going to be crazy busy. And what you're thinking about, people walking in are just going to grab it. So, let me show you the cabinet again. That's visible now. I kind of have to wait to see how my TV screen was showing there. So, yeah, so it's just that one shelf inside. So, that's why I'm thinking it might have been like a little uh, spice rack. or I mean, you could probably fit some spools and stuff in there, but those, that's the only shelf in there. And you can always add your own little kind of risers or jars. It looks like it would fit smaller jars. You got it, Deborah Kerner. And like I said, that just came in. So I'll put your name on that as well. It's really nice. Now I have a piece from Maine that I got about 20 years ago from the Scranberry Coop from uh, Bobby. There used to be a vendor there. It's a sewing cabinet. It's a pretty good, heavy little sewing box. It was made in Maine by the in the prison. They used to actually make these little pieces of furniture. So mine's a, I've got a prison sewing box. It's really cool. Now this is a very good deal. This is just two dollars and forty cents for three, six, seven. They're plastic little advertising and just solid color thimbles. So just two forty for the little, and it's an old little plastic pharmacy jar. So $2.40 for the little jar of thimbles, and that is from our vendor, Vintage Crush. Now from our vendor, 
on second thought. I have these. It's a set of, you got it, Miss Lloyd. Now put that with your little. I have this set of, well, I should probably, let's see, where's my tag? There it is. It's for all three of these vases. The one needs, so it's 1120 for the little colored glass. This one has like the line from where the water, you know, like the lime line. So that might need a little bit of sitting. I know some people use uh, oven cleaner or they'll use the denture tablets and put that in there. That might take it out. So you've got these three. This is like a light aqua. This is a mint green and this one's blue. And for the three of them, it's for all three, is 1120 for the three pieces of colored glass. And that is from our vendor on second thought. Also from on second thought is this heavy stoneware pitcher marked USA. This is an older one and this is $20. I'm not seeing or feeling any condition issues. There's like a little pop in the glaze here, but that was that would have happened at the time of production. It is glazed inside and out. It's marked USA. If you're not, if it's too heavy, you know, to use for drinking, I mean, you absolutely can use this for your beverages. It is a beautiful pitcher. You fill that up and for a beautiful vase with your flowers in there. How pretty is that? So some nice ah. Uh, this time of the year, if you get some nice mums, they don't have to be real. Get the faux flowers so you're not replacing them and the water's not getting all stinky on you. That guy's just 20 and he is in fantastic shape and that is a true old one, marked USA on the bottom. That's not a repro made in China. That is a nice old piece of pottery right there. From Vintage Crush, I grabbed this. It does have crazing, but I thought with the fall colors, Design where Morgan, this is a Den Danish, made in Denmark, 11 inch round sectional dish. And that is just 1440. And that I thought was pretty with this time of the year for, you know, if you're entertaining, how pretty is that to put out on the table? And like I said, it does have crazing, but there are no chips or cracks on that. Cute little Danish divided dish. And I'm not familiar with these marks, but it's, it's KF and then Morgan something is stamped. And then it has the number 1802 here incised in it as well. So that's a pretty little dish. And that is just 14, 14 1920s. Okay, so I, she's got more information on the back of the tag. It is from the 1920s. Aluminum uh, Fiance, <laughs> Royal Copenhagen, Denmark. And that's the best pronunciation you're going to get out of me on that one. So, a true authentic antique for just $14.40. This is from our vendor up front. This is for the set. This is a three-piece section. What does it say? Linens and Things Christmas Teapot, $6.40. So, you have the lid that goes on the teapot that says Merry Christmas. And then you have Christmas Time on the mug on the bottom. You want the, you got it, Christina. I got you for the Danish dish. So there is a small chip on the inside of the lid, which you do not see when you close it up. So that's just, oh, and there's a chip on the bottom. I'm sorry, now I'm seeing more chips. Darn it, I hate when that happens. Sorry, so the couple chips on this is just $6.40. Because of the chips, it's just $3 for the teapot set. $3 for that set due to the chips. Which look like the one might have happened when it was here. It's not an old chip. Unfortunately, that happens. Hey, boy, this is a really pretty dish, Christina. You're going to like this. It's going to make part of a pretty table setting. You got it, Charlene. I thought you might like that one. This is a nice piece. All right, let me get your name on that picture. Like I said, it's got really good weight. It's going to look really nice with what you show me in your notebook of the ideas that you have. That is actually a perfect fit for that. And it's so nice to find one of those without any condition issues because a lot of times they do have tight hairlines, they have chips, they have all kinds of, they don't, they're not usually in this good of shape, especially for this size. So looks like there was a hickey on the spout, but it looks like manufacturing, they went right over it with the glaze. So when I say that there's like a, like if you find a, like a little chip and the glaze is the exact same match as the, the piece, that means it happened before they, painted it and put it into the oven and you know cooked it on so a lot of times back in the day those pieces would end up as seconds and other 
you know, they would reduce the price. But uh, that's in really good shape. So we do have, we come across pieces of Roseville and stuff like that where they'll just go right over. Yeah, it's a good idea. Try to stick with one where they just go over it to try to sell it. Now I have for, ah. okay. First person wants it. $5 firm for the black cat. He's not old. He's some kind of, he's a tightly wound garland scare kitty cat, like wire base. He's got a good weight to him and he's got little plastic eyes. He's just $5. That is from the looking glass. He's super, he's in good shape. The, the garland's not falling off in any way. And I think his tail, he is metal, so it feels like he can bend. And he's just $5 for the kitty cat. I have from Vintage Crush again, a six and a half inch tall vintage brown bottle. It doesn't need a little soak in it. A lot of times, this is just 480. These were medicinal bottles often. Your pharmacy bottles just doesn't have the label. So that's a nice piece of glass right there for just 480. We sold a giant one this weekend. Keeping in with the bottles and jar, we have this Senko littered. I don't know if this is the original. Yeah, I'll bring, uh, you got the bottle, Miss Marcelle. You got it. I'll do the teapot again in a moment, Deborah. All right. So I don't know if this is original to the piece. It says a sink a lid on clear glass jar with a handle. So I just thought it was a really cute little jar. This is 960. And they just put that lid on there probably because it fit. But I just thought this was like the cutest jar because it does have a handle. Oh, the cute little display piece. The bottom is just marked HHH. So if you know your glassware, that's that one. Am I going to go crazy showing the teapot? We are going to do it for $3. It does have that chip there. It's from linens and things. Uh, I don't have any chips on the spout or anything else. And then the coffee cup has... A few chips along the bottom so I'm hoping that that focus is in sorry I'm getting a little out of breath here so I'm the running around is going to kind of be to a minimal at this point so okay this is not old but it's only a dollar fifty blow mold pumpkin candy carrier just a dollar fifty and that is from the uh, looking glass no, no name or anything on it. It's not old, like I said. That's just a buck fifty. That's that hard plastic candy container. So that's a good deal on that. I need a. What do I do with my cold drink? Oh, there it is. Excuse me. Yeah, I saw that, y'all. Yeah, I mean, we kind of figured that out when the uh, <laughs> CFO or CEO or coup, whatever he was, jumped out the window. <laughs> Never a good thing. Oh, I'm fine. It's just that this is this this temperatures and the humidity in the air, and I don't do well when we're getting rain. Five firm for this really cute little jar of marbles that she's got. Tape. Uh, the tape is probably five dollars worth of tape there going on. It's got one large shooter marble in there. So that's five firms for the little jar of marbles from the looking glass. I have from Belmont Farmhouse. It's a Pennsylvania Railroad roly poly glass for $6.30. So if you know somebody who collects trains or likes Pennsylvania Railroad souvenirs, I don't know if this was actually in use back in the day on the dining cars it might have been it says pennsylvania 4902 on it on the engine i don't think any of those glow let's find out oh he's got the piece cropped up in there all right uh, no no glowing blowing out of the ordinary the tag is glowing more than the, yeah, right? You got it, Missy. And they don't glow, but they are nice ones, and they are all, 
those are yeah they are nice and you got that nice big shooter in there and that's got a nice yellow stripe through the white on that one so that's a nice old one and it's got it priced pretty well too so it's this time of the year it's like i want to turn the air conditioning on this morning we had the heat on for a few minutes in here and now i'm ready to turn the air conditioning on All right, so I have the marbles for Dina, Missy Bo. This is the Vintage Whitman Snoopy and Woodstock Great Pumpkin Collectible for $9.60. So it was Whitman's candy when it came in here. And then it's also doubles as a bank when you finished off eating your candy. And it's pretty well, well sealed as well. I'm not able to get that open without a lot of work. So it's Snoopy laying on top of a pumpkin with a little Woodstock there. And like I said, it's a bank and got the year on the bottom it does not just made in china little whitman's snoopy bank there for 960. Wow. all right this is kirk's folly from 1995 with the heart 30 inch chain and she, we did get her to come down on some of the prices on these so and of course these are never numbers that are easy for me to do 2320 yeah, well, I did have the heat on for just a few minutes because it was a little damp this morning. All right, I'm going to come out with this so you can see. I don't know if anybody knows anything about Kirk's Folly, but apparently. Oh, good, good. Maybe somebody will do something with it. We used to love that restaurant. Those people were so nice that owned it, too. So that is Kirk's Folly from 1995 with the harp, and that is 2320 from our vendor Starwares. I know the kids have been doing a lot of damage to that building, that train car. It's very sad, so I'm hoping it's able to be repaired. And they did have that flood on the Delaware over there a few years ago. All right, also from Starwares, it's the Loyal Subjects Mini Alien. So, and he is... 1040 he is plastic so if you are going to plan on popping them into a piece of food and have them come out ah, like in the movies make sure it's not too hot oh okay so yeah so you can ah. or you remember the uh space balls hello my darling hello my baby so that's that from star wars i have this cute little avocado green uh basket looks like the that's to say buttons and daisies yeah kind of and that's just nine sixty, and that is from our vendor, um, Betty's Treasures. So it's a little bonnet shaped basket for just nine sixty. And right now, that you know, a couple of years ago, back in the sixties and seventies, you'd call this avocado green, and then for a while we just called it green. But apparently, avocado green is hot again. So we're gonna call it as we see it, avocado green. Don brought this up to me earlier today to put up for tonight. It's just two forty for the little. It's not old, but it's very cute. It's a little tin jack o' lantern basket. So this would look cute if you wanted to drop in a little tea light in there and and light that up. Yeah, it's a movie about a. It's a movie about a woman that no, no, nobody would listen to the woman, and she was right. Alien. All right. So we also have from our vendor jazzy junk without the box it's another piece of Savorsky. he does have the little swan mark on him he is just 1920 for the hippo i will come out <sighs> now it's not a chip his mouth is indented like that on purpose it's just cute beautiful piece of Savorsky. And like I said, does not have the box, but it is genuine. Let's see if I can get the, I saw the swan earlier, and I know I got it to work on the other one. Swan is up on this corner. There it is. So that's how we know. Even if you don't have the box, that's how you can tell, I mean, besides the quality, but you have to, it has to have that mark on it. From our Lennox collections, this is the Ghostly Pup Lennox, made in China, so it is newer. And he's a very cute little dog for $10. Again, no box, but he's a little Halloween trick-or-treating doggy there. And he's got his pumpkin, and he's got his little sheet on. 
as his little costume. It has just ten dollars for the nice little Lennox ghostly pup, he's called. So you got it, Miss Lloyd. He's very cute. Now, if you don't have any Savorsky, he's a great start, and if you do, he's a great addition. Now, going along with the finer pieces of porcelain, this is the older Belique. It has the green mark. Okay, the Lennox is going to Miss Corna. Charlene gets the puppy. And then, um, I'm not sure which year, but I know that you're... Oh, I see what you're doing there, Don. Sorry, I'm a little out of it today. All right, so this is the brown mark on your Belique. There we go. And you can see how fine and opaque Belique porcelain is. And this is from our vendor, Belique Vase Blue Bow, seven and a half inches tall, $8.40 for a nice piece of Belique that is from Belmont Farmhouse. It has this little blue bow on both sides and like it looks like wheat stalks are embossed on that. So that's a pretty nice little piece of Belique there for just $8.40. So you can see how the light comes through it because it's such a, an eggshell almost porcelain on that. Gordon's Dry Gin, made in England, this bottle, England, London. It's got a green aqua color to it. This is from our vendor, Andover Junction. It is just $4. It is an older bottle. And it has the little Gordon's logo on the bottom. So it has a nice green, uh, green blue bottle for just $4. And then on the line of bottles, I grabbed this, I don't know, I think I might have had this up before, but I, I've started, a lot of the local folks have started grabbing up these things, so I'm giving you guys a chance again, this is just $12, it has the porcelain stopper, this is an old bottle, local, Earl's Bottling, Newton, New Jersey, and this is just $12, and this is from our vendor, Burning Sensation Antiques, nice old soda bottle, embossed, so we have this, and we have that little Tomahawk, both from Newton. So if you're looking for some nice souvenir type items and you live locally and you're Newton or you have somebody that you know that lives in Newton, these are a lot of fun gifts to give them. Truly antiques. From Betty's Treasure, you got it. Miss Lloyd is taking the soda bottle. I have, I try, it's, it's harder for us to find stuff from my Hepacon. We do have a few things from Bertrand's Island and stuff that I have sold for, I found for Don and well, we have a few things that I found. And I have a really cool from Lake Mohawk from like the 1930s. I have a catalog from them of the homes and stuff. That's in my personal collection. I, I, like, I like local history. All right. I have a longer burger pottery pitcher from Betty's Treasures. Blue trim. And that is $22.40. Again, you do have weight with these. So you can see it has the Longa Burger mark, and this is the Longa Burger pottery, and this is the picture for $22.40 from Betty's Treasures. Um, occasionally we do get the other pieces that do match this. The Longa Burger pottery is not as easy to find as it was. Okay. I have a couple more things. I have some more smalls and I have some more large. I have a larger item here. I'm going to take the smalls off of it first so I can hold this up without issue. I have a, these are each price. These are Copper Craft Guild. They are brass and copper, and you can hang them or they sit, little bedchamber type lamps, like uh, candle holders, and they are $8 each. So a nice little primitive. You can see they hold the taper candles hollow on the bottom and you can either hang them on the wall and it's got like that kind of hook so if you put the larger nail and it slides down it'll sit right on there or they can sit and they also have the handles so and they do if you put a smaller uh candle in there if the power does go out and you kind of walk like this you won't get the the breeze knocking off on it when you put it down you turn it and you get the reflection to get yourself a little extra light so these are just eight dollars each um I don't know if we're getting hit with that hurricane, but do make sure you have your candles. Uh, if you have, we have oil lamps that are functioning, make sure you have your oil. You can get that at Walmart or anywhere, the oil for those lamps. Um, better to be prepared than not. And candles and stuff like that never go bad, so. 
unless you put them in your attic and they get too warm and they heat up. Now this is signed Sharon Dunbar, but she unfortunately did not put the year on it. It is older. It's very, it's kind of like tramp art. This, this is a matchstick cross and it is older. And this is $14 from Belmont Farmhouse. So she did this on a piece of wood and these are all matches, little wood matches. And that is just $14 and that does have some age to it. That is a really cool piece. Um, are they wood? Yeah, it's very cool. And they like kind of varnished it. It's very unusual for us. You did like this pattern. It's very nice. And that's just $14 for the matchstick cross. Very reminiscent of tramp art. This just came in. This is, that's, that, I, that is intentional. That's not me trying to break something. This is newer, but it looks vintage. It is larger, so we're asking you to come in and pick this up if you are purchasing. It's just $17.50. It is a multi-shelf. It's got chicken wire on the back, and it's got the little tab holders here. And then you have one, two, three, four. These are like a, a screening line on these. The bottom one is the tin, and you have the tin on the top. So I can tell you the measurements on that. And again, that's just $17.50. Uh, it is newer. This is like the stuff that they get at Michael's and stuff. Um, it is larger. It is, let's do the inside the depth first. Seven inches deep, 15 inches across, and the height is 27 and a half inches. And that is just $17.50 for that really cool shelf. So, and it's easy to hang and it does stand as you saw. Well, you didn't see, but I have it on the floor here. I have just two more items and they are both basket related and they, they're not longer burger. They are just little bushel basket kind of things. This one has the green trim. This is from Andover Junction and that's just 480. Has a little balsa wood bottom. That one's 480 and then I grabbed a larger one. And this one looks like it's been out on the farm. This one is just 720. Um, I would, if you're putting anything in it, it's gotta be lightweight and it's got, that's what I'm saying. The handles, I, I, this is as found. It's like somebody like emptied out their apples and, and somebody else ran off with the barrel with the, here, it was apple. There you go. This part of the label is left and I can see part of the apple. So this is an old apple picking basket here for just 720. It's got great age. You can put lightweight things in it. It's a cute little piece of storage. Nice age on that. And that's just 720. So I'm just doing a double check because last time I did miss one thing that I put up the next day. So that looks like all the items I have for you guys today. Thank you as always for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful night and we will be back here tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to post more things. Um, when Don is doing stuff around the shop and I'm here at the register ringing, I can't really get out and do much. So I'm hoping tomorrow I'll have a little more opportunities to do that for you guys. Thanks and have a great night.